you guys. So um, I'm going to walk you through the Serena 58. Um, these boats are all built in Turkey. And um, today we have a 58 and a 64 on display. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. The 58 Serena is primarily meant to be a boat for as an owner operator. Um, but this space back here can be used as um, can be converted to a crew quarters. Right now it's more of a utility closet. Um, so you have a washing machine in there and a huge amount of space for water toys, stand-up paddle boards, kite surfing gear, all that sort of stuff. Um, this, hydraulics, this is a hydraulic swim platform here, so this is where you can bring a tender with you. This whole section drops down into the water and you can float a tender over it. So this is a pretty cool boat. This is actually the first time we've had the coupe on display in the United States. Um, and you have pretty much a single level living space here. Lots of seating back here. You have um, a space for a grill and also some extra refrigeration, ice makers, all that fun stuff here. Um, as we can see, we have this all opened up. Um, there's a piece of glass that drops down in here, so this is kind of an indoor-outdoor space. There are some really cool features uh, that we can show you okay. elsewhere on the boat. Um, they, we have uh, four um, different uh, refrigeration units here. You have two refrigerators, a refrigerator and a freezer right there. Those are all pullouts. Yep, those are all pullouts. Uh, but a lot of counter space. This is a nice huge deep storage location as well. You can see with this all opened up, you get a lot of natural light in, in this space. Um, you have a side, immediate side access to uh, the side decks, so you can walk forward. Um, this is your helm area here with joystick docking, throttle controls, bow and stern thrusters. Um, and I really like how they do the ergonomics because they make it so you can uh, stand or sit down when running the boat. Um, this also has a gyro, gyro stabilizer sea keeper. Um, these Serenas are all category A offshore rated, so which is the highest offshore safety rating you can get for a boat of this size. But lots of seating here. One really cool aspect with this boat is we have a Ford Master, so let's go ahead and uh, we'll walk down here. Um, and then this is your, your Master in here. And oh, this is interesting the way this so is. This let, me, is let me just show this. There's a door opening up right here. Yep. Um, and so you have this whole bow area dedicated to your master. Um, nice seating. This is a really. This is the first time I've seen this kind of a layout. Yeah, this is right. unique for a boat of this size for sure. Um, and then a unique spot is so we just came down from the cabin. Um, if you close this door here, um, you have a private um, direct access to the bow of the boat from here as well. So as an owner, you don't have to uh, go through the cabin to get up to the bow. So this can be kind of like your own private little area if you wish. So um, pretty darn unique for a 58 foot boat to have this sort of flow for, from an owner's Even statement. Even for bigger boats, I haven't seen that layout. Yep, it's yep. It's unique. Yep. I haven't seen it. So this is great storage, huge anchor lockers underneath here. I can show you that if you'd like. Um, goes really far deep wow. in there, so fenders, dock lines, you know, this is a huge, huge space. Um, the lines of the Serena are unique, you know, they're, it's a really strong bow. You can see, uh, you actually can't quite see the bow on the 64, but big, strong lines on the, on the Serenas. Uh, but now we'll head back down and we'll look at the other yeah. accommodations. I really like this stuff. Isn't this cool? It is. I always like when I see something that's new that I haven't seen before that's yeah. just really innovative way of just utilizing the space in a sure. very creative way like this. It's just it's really this is, I mean this I really is like a this. really cool It is. Uh, master. Yeah. yeah. So Cuz usually you're always going down 
further than walking down a hallway to get to the mat, you know. Exactly. Like so or they'll put the master a lot of times on the back. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So like this that. is a really private, Very nice. you know, fair amount of space dedicated to the master here. So, um, and then uh, this is your head for the master okay. in here. And then we can come back where we came from, okay. down a couple more steps, and then you have two staterooms aft here. Um, this is a nice, good size uh, double berth here. Um, and then your guests have their own private ensuite head with stall shower as well. Okay, same shower set up. Yep. Similar shower set up, so. And then for the third stateroom, you have two single berths here. And then you have a their own head, um, and this is a wet head uh, for this stateroom. Okay. Yep. So you have three staterooms, three heads with two of those heads with uh, separate stall showers. So this is the living accommodations. Again, plenty of storage. You have drawers underneath, underneath the seats here for you know. There's never so too much uh, storage oh, on this board. This is fully open over here, so it's, yeah, yeah, this like all that. opens yeah, yeah. up. Yeah. yeah, that's very interesting. It's usually you to see us like on more of a flybridge. Yep, um, we do offer a flybridge, um, but some people don't want the flybridge, so this is the coupe. Version. Yeah, lots of na lots of natural light for sure. So, we went to the front, and this will just lead right back. To yeah, right up to the bow area, and you have really nice side decks walking forward, yeah, really secure. Awesome. You know, for, as far as owner operators, you're not getting on narrow side decks. But this is with the flybridge, yep. But essentially the same same boat. Same boat, yep. Um, uh, fiberglass hulls, and then from the deck up to the top of the flybridge is uh, has carbon fiber uh, to get that category A offshore safety rating. So this monster is a 64. Got a bit of extra beam on the 64. Um, this is uh, a crew quarters. You have a berth off to port, and then you have another berth off to starboard as well. Okay. And then that door is through the is to the engine space. The Serena uses uh, the Caterpillar engines. Okay. Um, so these are a thousand horsepower cats. Um, they're 650 horsepower cats on the 58. Um, this has a 1,200 nautical mile range at 10 knots, um, you can cruise up to about 20 knots on the, on the 64. So um, at, at uh, 20 knots, you have about a 360 knock a mile range. You have a sea keeper right underneath here, uh, 1,000 horsepower cats, fuel tanks, you, you, all your fuel distribution here, halon systems, air conditioning systems off to port, Oh, there's access over here? Yep, and then you can get access to the deck. But this is going to be the primary, this door here is primarily yeah. where you go. And then there's a crew head in, in there. And then this room platform drops down as well, uh, just like the 58 for a tender. The extra beam is pretty nice here. We've got two tables here that pop out just like this. Um, so fair amount of seating back here. Um, once you get to the 64, you have these capstan winches here 
that help you handle lines. This is an electric winch here with a button by your foot. Um, that's just to make the handling of lines a little bit easier. Um, and then coming in to the salon area. Really nice place to lounge aft here. Obviously we have a TV. Uh, this is your galley up forward. This particular boat is a four stateroom layout. Um, this galley um, is nicely set up to accommodate for a lot of guests. Refrigeration here, freezer here, and then up on the flybridge there is even more refrigeration, freezers, there's uh, grills up there. So. This is just a part of the refrigeration space on board the boat. Induction cooktops, dishwashers. <clears throat> Serena does a nice job with how they organize their plates and all that. Easy to get to. Uh, this is the, the helm. You have a big helm area here. You can see two people up here, nice commanding uh, helm, variable speed, bound stern thrusters, you know, joysticks, all the stuff that one really would expect for a yacht of this size. Kind of like how they have this, which is I yeah. see this a lot like on the speed boats, like the cigarettes, yep. things like that, but I don't usually see that in the yachts. Yeah, no, so it's it's, nice. it is nice. Um, your electrical panel here, nice thing with Serena is they have their own manufacturing facility. Um, they can make the tweaks and changes to customers' preferences. Um, so you have a lot you can do with the interior of these boats. You can see how different of a feel this finish has compared to the uh, coupe that we were just on. A little bit more fine leather details um, uh, with the finish of this boat. Good hanging locker here. This is just the VIP stateroom. So this one, the master is going to be, master is going to be aft. Yep. Yeah, there's already two closets. You can see the thickness of these doors and how they put these doors together. It's pretty awesome, the detail. So this is a washer dryer space, two separate units, uh, one washer, one dryer. And then hatch that we saw before in the engine room, where would that lead to? Uh, the aft deck. Okay. Yep. I can show you that um, when we exit. Okay. Nice head for this guest room. It's in like a cabinet over there. Yep, that's a wet cabinet for your uh, wash down gear. One of the options was washer dryer, little washer dryer room, is that the idea? Here. Yeah, well that's where the day head normally is in the standard boat. And in this boat, we decided to do a laundry room. To just and then we'll come aft. So this is the four stateroom. So this is a small um, guest stateroom in here. And the crew cabin, we can really only... And this is your master here. Full beam master stateroom, very large windows. This is a really quiet, nice stateroom. You have a TV that pops up here. Um, and you can see the details that they, for the woodwork that they do. All sorts of just storage outboard here. And then there's off into starboard and aft. There's a nice 
hey, um, closet before you get to the head. in a huge stall shower at oh, yeah. that. Yeah, they don't mess around. <laughs> uh, and then we can go up to the flybridge if you'd like. Yes. So this is for your HVAC system, so heating and cooling. Um, and then these are your light switches here. Each stateroom has, in fact, their own um, air conditioning. Go forward. Very similar to the 58 in the size. Um, you have tons of seating, uh, anchor lockers, and storage. Uh, these are uh, pop up lights here as well. How do you put it down? Just uh, yeah, you push, push it down, down and you rotate. Huh? It's really cool. Very cool. Again, when you're walking out, you can kind of get a sense as to how stoutly built the boat is. Nice, nice tall uh, side rails here. You asked about the uh, oh, okay. so hatch for the engine, that's what that is. And then we'll go up to the bridge. The bridge is massive. So this is a natural gathering area on the boat. Uh, this is a retractable sunshade, so you can add some more light in here if you want. Um, but you can have a ton of people up here. Uh, this is a carbon fiber hardtop, again, to keep the weight low on the boat and maintain that category A rating. Um, when you are entertaining, you can slide this out like this. And that essentially is doubling your counter space for cocktails and hors d'oeuvres. Um, and back here, you can have a crane davit back here, or you could have the seating. It really is a space that you can dedicate to your choosing. Um, obviously, we have grills here and more refrigeration, ice makers, all, all that sort of stuff. And of course, we have a, very, a shower, which actually is pretty fun. So. Boats get really nicely lit at yeah, night. I've seen it. The it's boat glows. Night. It's really cool. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by giving it a like. If you haven't done so already, make sure to subscribe to this channel, ring the notification bell so you're kept up to date on all future uploads. Leave a comment, share with others. Thank you, and I'll see you soon.